Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a basic user controlled slider. This has a ton of applications for all different kinds of things. So to get started with this, we're just going to go into the, we're in the first person template and we're just going to go into the blueprints and we'll be at this folder on this folder level. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create a super basic widget and I'm going to go user interface, widget blueprint, user widget. And I'm just going to call it WBP underscore slider. And we'll go ahead and double click into it. And we'll go ahead and dock it up on top. We're just going to get a canvas panel for this and drag that onto the scene like that. And we can drag this out and make this 1920 by 1080. And then we can go ahead and get some text here and put that right there. Is that a text, right? No, that's a text box. Sorry about that. I don't want that. I just want text. So just get some text and put it here like that. And then we'll go ahead and get the slider. I've been having some issues with the slider control and that's one of the reasons I want to make this tutorial is I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if there's some glitches or bugs or something, but things aren't always working as I'm expecting them to. And so this way, this way I did it, I used a function binding and it worked. So I decided I would show you how to do it with a function, what they call a function binding. So we'll compile and save that. And on the text, it needs to be a variable. And we'll just call this text there. And then the slider also is a variable, and that's fine right there. Okay, so we'll compile and save that. Now what you can do is go into the first person blueprint template here, and that docks automatically. And we're going to go ahead and add this widget to our viewport. So we're going to go create widget right like that, and we're going to set it to our WVP slider. And then we're just going to go off, drag off here and go add to viewport right there. And if I hit play, come in here and I hit play, we'll see the slider over here. And you'll see I have the ability to control it. So I have mouse control, although in a game you might have to add mouse control. But what you can see I have mouse control. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into, we'll stop the game, we'll go back into here and we're just going to create a variable and we're just going to call this slider value and we're going to set this as a as a float like that. We can go ahead and make it instance edible. We're just going to leave it set to a value of zero well, let's go ahead and just set it to a, I guess we can set it to 0.5 and see what that does. Now, let me show you this. Over here on the slider in the widget blueprint, there's a min and max value. And we can, let's say we want this to go from 0 to 100, then that'll set the slider to go from a value of 0 on the far left to 100 on the far right when you slide it. So that sets that. Okay. And then... Once we have this variable set up here, we're pretty good to, to go. So this value is just going to be kind of a placeholder where it rests. So we're going to update this value and then we're going to also call upon it. So we're basically storing the value in this first person blueprint. So we could store it locally in here, but we're just going to keep the value over here just to show you how things work. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the graph and I'm going to click on the slider and I'm going to go on value changed and this will update we're going to update the value on this blueprint we're going to update this value so to do that the first thing we do to do that is I actually need to create a reference to the blueprint so let's go ahead and do that and I'll drag off up here. And since it's a first person blueprint, we can actually cast to it without any real problem. So let's say cast to BP first person character right here like that. And the object is 
get player character. So we get player character and we pop that into here. And then what we can do is just right click this and promote that to a variable. And we can leave it called as BP first person character. So then this gives us access to this variable right there. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. And then once we have this part set up, I can come over here and I can drag this node off. This is a git node for that. And I can drag off of here and I can go, what's it called? Git slider value. So I can drag off of here and go set slider value. So what this is going to do is when I drag the slider, it's going to update, I'll compile and save this. It's going to update the value of this variable over here. So that's what's going to do it. But then interestingly, what we're going to do next, last thing we got to do, last step, is we're going to go on to the designer. We're going to click on the text variable here. And even though it's text, we can have numbers, float values displayed here. We're going to come over here to where it says bind. And I just out of curiosity, I want to show you something. I notice on here, if we go to do it, like normally how we would do a property bind, I don't see that variable here listed here and I'm not sure why it's not listed there so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a binding here and this is is real simple to do is this is what's going to update so <laughs> it's kind of interesting so what what's going to happen is we're going to drag the slider here on the widget blueprint we're going to drag this slider here I go onto the display. We're going to drag this slider and it goes from a value of 0 to 100. We're going to drag it. So as we drag it, the value is going to change. Over here on the event graph, as we drag it, it's going to update the variable over here. right? So then this value will be updated as we drag our slider. And then here, what's going to happen is we're going to get that value. We're going to go drag this off. And we're going to get. And we're going to search for that slider value. So get slider value right here. And this will auto convert once I plug it in here. So this is creating a binding actually. So it's kind of interesting. We're going to, on the slider, it's hard to kind of explain. <laughs> But on the slider, we're going we're gonna to slide the slider, and it's going to change its value as we slide it. And that's over here. We look here on the event graph, and it's going to update the value here. And then what we're going to do is here, once that value is updated, we're actually going to get it back here. We're going to go and get that value back, and then this is going to update the return value. And this return value is going to be bound to this text box right here and that's why it says binding because it's going to update so we're actually sending information from the widget to the blueprint first person character we're updating that value and then we're getting that value and updating this this element over here and that's all we should have to do so if we make sure everything's saved we'll go save all we'll hit play and that was the default that we set it on, but watch as I drag the slider now, you see the value updating. So, so then once this value is being updated here on the BP first person, then we can use this to manipulate any other, any other you know thing that we need. If, if we want a value updated on a physics driver or some other node or something, we want to feed a value into it, we can now get that value from our slider. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I do appreciate your subscription.